Hey everybody, this is Soul Sweat with Julia, and I am Julia, and I'm gonna give you a quick tutorial on Pinchy, Pinchy Mayurasana, forearm balance. So if you are doing this tutorial, please make sure that your shoulders are already warmed up. Maybe you've done one of my other flows that open up the heart and everything, shoulders that need to be opened to do this, that your core is fired up. I highly recommend that. Also, I recommend having a block and a strap. And if you don't have a strap at home, a belt works just fine. Um, I just want you to be able to bring it around your arm. Hey, little clinky, clinky belt. Um, so I want you to bring it around your arms. This is, for me, the way that I was first able to get into Pinchy. And let me tell you, I'm still, it's still one of those things that some days I get it, some days I don't. Some days my core is just like, no thank you, or my shoulders are tired and worn out at the end of a practice and it just doesn't happen. So just want to remind you of that because I think sometimes, you know, it can be like, oh, how come I didn't get that? Or why was I able to get it yesterday but I'm not able to get it today? Um, or why was I able to get it for like the last six months and then today my body's just saying, no, thank you. It happens. Um, so taking that strap right now, I hope you can see this a little bit far away. And I want you to wrap it around your upper arms there. So with their shoulder distance apart. Right now mine are a little bit wide. Yeah, so I need to bring that in a little bit tighter. We just need to play with it a couple times. I recommend when you do put it that on to have the metal in the center so it's not like pinching your arms. I've done that before. It does not feel good. Okay, so there we go. That's gonna that's about shoulder distance apart for me, right? So I'm gonna take that. I'm gonna bring my hands down. I'm taking my blocks. You want to take your block, bring it on that low level. Bring that block right there in front of the face couple inches, take it right up against the wall. Do you want you to be up against a wall, especially if you're new to this? Um, it can be a little intimidating forearm balance. Just the topple out. Um, sometimes like with the head down, it's a little easier to somersault out of this. This one's a little bit more awkward. So please, if you're new to this, go up against a wall. And then create an L shape with your hands and a backwards L shape, bringing the hands around that block Press through the forearms, activate, pull the shoulders away from the ears. From here, tuck the toes, lift the knees, as if you're in dolphin pose, or you are, you're in dolphin pose here. Gazing slightly forward, keep pushing into the earth, walk the hips up so they're over the shoulders there. Then start off by lifting one leg at a time. So let's start by lifting that left leg, fire up that core, maybe a couple little hops here, right? Just to feel comfortable. If you wanna go for it, maybe. Bring those legs up, maybe your toes touch the wall. Maybe you're able to find that air time, right? Maybe pulling the toes off the wall, pausing. You have to keep pulling the shoulders away from the ears, keep those shoulders safe, gazing forward. One more breath, maybe one more hop. Bring that right leg down, left leg down. Take a moment, drop the knees before we hit the left side. I want you to balance it out, right and left. I've been guilty of it before, plenty of times. I just want to do the side that I feel comfortable with. But we want to try to even out the body and get comfortable on both sides of the body, right? A lot of times yoga, breaking out of our discomfort zones. So here we are, breaking out of our discomfort zone, if that's one of those for you. Bring the hands back down. Make that L shape. Again, press into the forearms. Pull the shoulders away from the ears. Tuck the toes, lift the knees. Start to crawl the hips over the shoulders this time. Uh, what did I do? Keep Lift that right leg up. There we go. Keep that left foot down, gazing forward. And then a couple hops. And sometimes the side that you think is your left or your less comfortable side is the one that's a little bit easier, right? I didn't kick over into the wall because that leg's stronger. So my right leg, a lot of times when it's down, I kick the left leg. When the left leg's down, I don't kick as hard. <laughs> so and I end up getting it quicker, easier, I should say. Yeah, so you might surprise yourself. So again, a couple more hops, maybe pausing in that. Shoulders away from the ears. Maybe you're playing with the toes, touching and then pulling them off. Take one more breath here. And slowly go ahead, 
lower, left leg down, right leg down, drop the knees, and back onto the heels. You can take that strap off. Let's just take a couple rounds circling out the shoulders, circle them out in one direction, circle them back the other. Yeah, I want you to gently tilt the head side to side. And the chin down and up and down and up. Yeah. I'm just going to go ahead, take a nice deep inhale, circle the arms, kiss the palms, sitting on your heels there. Exhale, thumbs to heart center. Thank you so much for just doing this quick tutorial with me on Pinchy Mayarasana forearm balance. I hope you have a beautiful rest of your day. Namaste.